In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The first lesson comes from the Song of the Three Young Children, which is an addition, uh, a Greek addition, to the book of Daniel. It's in the Apocrypha. It was around during the time of Jesus, but in a complicated story. It was omitted from um, the Bibles sort of after the um, 16th century. There are several additions to the book of Daniel that um, elaborate on some of the stories that we know. So the song of the three young children um, are the, um, are, it's a prayer of uh, Abednego. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? And then there is a song of praise for all three. They're all in the furnace. So that's the context of what is happening today. Azarias is the, um, is the Hebrew name of Abednego, which was, was the Babylonian name of, of the three. Um, opposite. Uh, Abednego, I think, is the Hebrew name at any rate. What is he saying in this prayer? He's recognizing that they're in a Babylonian captivity. There is no prince, there is no temple, there is no sacrifice, there's nothing to offer. That they are cast away. But there is an offering and they're offering themselves. And that is what the three young men are doing, offering themselves an oblation to the glory of God and giving thanks in that moment. Now take that prayer, that great prayer of faith, that even though we're away from our temple, away from our people, temples destroyed, we have nothing that um, we have had in order to enable us to praise God. It is, as the prayer says, ourselves, our souls, our bodies. We are the living sacrifice to God. Now go to the gospel today of the woman who was at the feet of Jesus, crying and wiping his feet with, with her uh, tears and her hair and anointing him. She was the epitome of herself offering herself as an oblation to the glory of the Lord. That is the call for us as we begin to make the turn into Holy Week as we walk with our Lord who is the one sacrifice once offered for the sins of all, that we are called to join in with him, to join in his sacrifice by offering up our own sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, but also offering up our lives, our wills, what we do today to the glory of God. No matter where you are, whether you're in the church or outside the church, whether you're near a priest or away from a priest, you are the act of thanksgiving. You are the offering to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.